So I'm getting that. Okay. It's day 98, and this morning it was extremely difficult to get up. Our alarm went off at 4 a.m. And I think I just snoozed it until like 4.45. It's six o'clock now, we were supposed to be, we're about to get head out of here. We're not supposed to be doing anything. We do what we want to do. Yeah, um, we're three miles, so. Yes, and we're up and we're ready to crush. Now I've had some coffee in me and a little bit of sugar and I feel good now, I, I really do. I just had to have a cup of coffee. Now I feel a lot better, you know? <laughs> You're powered up. I'm all powered up. I'm about to go into the matrix or I guess. I'm plugged in. I better want. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> um, off. All right. Uh, 15 minutes. We're about to leave. All right. No, no, no. It's 6.15 and we're about to leave. All right. We're doing 30 miles today. We're going to crush. We're going to get 10 before 10, which will help set us up for the rest of the day. And we're going to do 19 miles before we take lunch that is how we do it and so in order to do that we just have to freaking put our headphones in and crush we gotta crush miles we're almost at shasta we got a couple of zero days ahead of us it's gonna be so awesome we have got to crush <sighs> pumping myself up are you feeling pumped up baby yeah i'm pumped okay let's roll Reminded. make sure you have all your stuff too you know <laughs> Just helping you out too. Not today, river crossing. Feet are dry. Out. It's so pretty. Yeah. I gotta get a picture of this. So we were camped right near water, which means we didn't really want to go to the bathroom anywhere around there. And we ended up hiking out for like a half a mile. And then we found this nice flat road. So this was our bathroom stop. And um, now we're officially ready to hike. It's like challenge 100 million and three. Had a poop on trail. Well, that's where the trail was, or that's where the trail is. And we had to hike up this hill. Did my 50 proof sunscreen. I'm all layered up. But these trees are nice. It's like the, the ability to be able to do this, to push my body this hard. <laughs> I'm proud of myself for taking care of my body. I'm proud of my body for being, just showing me that I'm capable of so much. I feel like there are times on this trail where you're hiking and the scenery is just amazing and you're surrounded by friends and you guys are talking and hanging out and pushing through stuff together, like in the Sierra or whatever. And then there are times where you're just, you're just putting your headphones in and you're like grinding out the miles. And it's not that I am like miserable. I, I like grinding the miles, you know? I like doing a lot of miles. It feels good on my body feels good to get a good workout in but that being said I need a distraction sometimes mentally my mind give my mind like a little mental break and one of that those things is like listening to audiobooks so 
it's not just every time you're hiking without your headphones and being like, wow, this is amazing. This is beautiful scenery. Then there's times where you're like, yep, seen it. I love in the morning when there's brief moments of just shade where you can take off your sun hoodie, you can kick your hat back, let the breeze on your neck. It's so nice. Seems like we out in the sun so much. You're always covering up, always putting on sunscreen. And then there's times like these, you're like, oh, this is so nice. Snack break. Well, not really snack break. I'm still hiking while I eat. But today's snack is a honey bun. All just pure sugary goodness. I have forgotten how pretty Mount Shasta is or was or whatever. It is so cool because it is the only peak of 14,000 feet like in this area. So you just got one bump of snow and it's like striking. And it's so cool because I never really hiked this area before. Like I'm sure I'm from Northern California, but I didn't see a lot of things when I lived in California. There's been a lot of firsts on this trip. Hiking through Yosemite, hiking through Lassen, now hiking through Mount Shasta. So I've had a lot of thoughts about fires and that is mostly because I'm from this area and it was never in the summertime, it was never a matter of if a forest fire was gonna happen, it was just when. And what part of summer, how much did you have of spring and summer before everything was just kind of hazy and kind of smoky the rest of the summer, like literally the rest of the summer. And so it's just like, it started. You know, and I was kind of like bummed because I was like, oh man, is it just going to be hazy from here on out? But at the same time, it's still so beautiful. And maybe there's not really a moment to be able to catch it without it well, on the PCT anymore, you know? Maybe like when you could actually hike through the whole PCT and there wasn't like fire reroutes and... I guess there would always be something, you know, there would be like the snow, the dreaded snow on the PCT a couple years ago. So I guess there's always like something. Look at this, y'all. What the heck? It was 104 degrees the other day. Where's the snow coming from? Boy, you hanging on too long.
Okay, Roadrunner warned me that there was a bunch of bushwhacking. She was like, wear pants, legs be scratching. And uh, she was right about that. Worth it. And that's a big old pile of dookie. That looked like, I don't know what that looks like to you. That looked like a bunch of hair in there. Maybe like a bear coming out of hibernation. Is it too late for that or is that right now? Like are we seeing bears come out of hi hibernation? Because right now it feels like we're already in the middle of summer. But I guess middle of summer is like, yeah, mid-July, mid-August. I don't know. Is that a bear poop, y'all? Very precarious right now. It's hard to see, but I think that's our trail over there. Just climbing some mountains. Okay, just made it to our first meeting spot, which was the first water that we said. So we've done 10, 10 miles. It's 1020, so we almost got 10 before 10. But um, Bird Call is here waiting. So he's gonna run up and grab some water. I guess there's water up this trailhead about 0.2, but there's also water in 1.5 um, that's on trail. And I still have a fair amount, like a couple sips of water. So I think I'm just gonna wait for Bird Call and uh, then just keep trekking. We have reached the point in the day where bird call <laughs> begins to make a song out of everything. <laughs> Including but not limited to, there is bird, bird, what was it? Branches all over my face. Uh, I scraped my knee. Is it a classic? Uh, there's holes in my shoes is another classic. Oh yes. Yeah. The one I was just singing is called Bushes All Over the Trail. Ah uh, yes. Is another classic. Yes, the hits actually. Well, I'm walking a long, long time and I ain't even been fed. I started to run real fast and I fell and busted my head. Oh, I'm hating this trail. <laughs> hating this trail. A bug flew in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> try as I hit record. <laughs> tracking pole, oh, tracking pole. How floppy are your straps? What was the next line?
You used to adjust, but now you're stuck. <laughs> and you had a point, but what was it? Now you're out of luck. Oh, tracking pole. Oh, tracking pole. <laughs> Oh, every time I put away the camera, they start again. <laughs> I'll be careful. Careful now. I just stopped and collected water and we were having a little snack and we decided we we're gonna go eight more miles to the next water before we have lunch. It's like 11.30 right now. Today's juice flavoring is strawberry flavored liquid IV. Delightful, hydrating, delicious. Nutritious. Back to climbing up, back to the heat. Today is full of a lot of bushwhacking. This trail is overgrown. It's fine, it just doesn't allow you to go quite as fast because you're like working through branches and stuff. and stopped for lunchtime, filtering the water, taking a break. Of course, my um, shade moved, so now I'm in the sun. Might have to move, but feels so good. Just give my feet a little ice bath. Oh, they're sore. Well, I was like, dang, that boy far behind us. Burkhol hasn't showed up. Oh, look at him, he's running. How cute. Cutie patootie. Ew. Look, it's you! There you is. That's okay. Are y'all doing all right? Good. Doing much better now. Well, my Tootsie is here. <laughs> he is eating some food. We're taking a proper lunch. Cheese, salami, mayo. Mmm. This is so good. I was so hungry. Mmm. All right, it is, it is four o'clock and we finished a late lunch. We're heading out again. Miles seem to be taking a little bit longer today, of course, because we're just tired, but I'm still crushing it. We've already done 18 miles. Um, we, uh, the three of us decided that uh, we we're gonna hike five miles to water and then decide how we feel and what we wanna do because we've got a um, an eight mile water carry coming up. So if we want to camp before the eight miles, then we need to collect enough water to camp. Or if we're feeling like we're pushing, then we're gonna, you know, not have to carry as much water. But that would be 14 more miles and it's already four o'clock. So that means it would be a late night. We'd be hiking in late, which is fine. And it'd be nice and cool and I'm down for it, except for that typically means you're going to sleep in the next day. And the next day we're trying to get to Shasta. So um, I'm not necessarily feeling like I want to sleep in late. I would rather get up super early. So that was how we left the conversation. We were like, meh, I don't know. So we decided we would just hike five miles and see how we feel. It's beautiful though. This trail is really pretty. I don't know if my camera was fuzzy or if it's just hazy from the smoke. Oh, 
shoot, look what we got here. A little bit of trail magic. What do we got here? Oh, what? Gummy bears. Juicy bursts. Yum. Taking two of those. Some Gatorade. Oh, that's nice. Wow. Okay, box number two. Oh, more Pop-Tarts. Ooh, probably get one of those. Oh my gosh, there's three boxes. I'm on box number three now. Oh, that's nice. Some Advil, some tools. Some chew. <laughs> Last one. Toasty peanut butter snacks. We're looking at McLeod River right there, y'all. Wow, doesn't that look cool and clear? I don't wanna go swimming. I want an ice cream cone. I want a soda pop. But mostly I don't wanna go swimming. Man. How come I don't get to go swimming? They put the slats through the bridge and you could see down there and then these ones that I'm standing on move Crossing that bridge back there got me thinking about all the times that there were no bridges and we used to have to climb or I mean cross all those rivers. Eh. I'm sure we're gonna have to cross rivers in the future, but right now we got bridges, people. Look at how nice this is. Look, 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 look. That was easy. Yo, uh, guess I'll just, <clears throat> just being real here, the trail's super hard today, just really difficult, and, uh, just kind of slugging through it, still just beautiful scenery all around me, it's like, whoa, look at that. Unreal. Breeze is nice. Just trying to take it sort of one half mile at a time. And uh, today's a long day. We're doing over 30 miles today. Just 
Just getting through it. Well, it's six o'clock and I am waiting for the boys by our water point. She said we were gonna stop and wait. And I'm wondering what they're gonna wanna do. Um, we are 28 miles from Shasta. We're trying to get there tomorrow night. I keep saying Shasta, but it's the Soda Springs turn off. It's actually Dunsmere, um, but close enough to Shasta that I just saying Shasta. Um, anyway, so we're 28 miles from that and uh, got mosquitoes, I'm smacking it. <laughs> um, which is kind of far further than I wanted to be for tomorrow. But I am also feeling like we're pushing pretty hard and these boys are pretty tired. Um, they're just not going very fast today. So we'll see what we decide. There's a campsite in three miles, so we could carry water from here uphill for three miles and camp if we were trying to get in three more miles and do less tomorrow. Um, so I'm just gonna see what they say and whenever they get here. Maybe I'll eat my Pop-Tart that I got at the Trail Magic Spot I didn't eat yet. Oh, and I sprayed myself a little bit with repellent, 100, insect, repellent, 10 hours. I sprayed my shoulders because I was getting swarmed while I was filtering water. And, uh, that's all for right now. Hey, the boys are here. Now we're just trying to decide what we were planning to do. Stay here, get up super early, hike 28 miles tomorrow, or stay up super late, hike in the camp around 10 p.m. and get another 8.7 miles in. Thoughts, anyone? <laughs> no? Susie, you have to edit your videos. Oh, no. Well, whatever. We decided to stay. And our plan is to wake up at 3 a.m. tomorrow so that we can get started hiking by 4. So we decided to call it early. And we already set up our tent, started some food. We're called doing some blister care. Um, dinner tonight is going to be mashed potatoes, ramen, aka ramen bomb. Also, we got some leftover pepperoni and cheese. It's going to be delicious.